Welcome back. So it's that time of year when high school seniors are applying for colleges and financial aid. And I'm joined now by the Dean of Admissions at Milwaukee School of Engineering, Chandra Mitchell, with how parents can help their kids through this process. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. This Eden. is such an important topic because I think that, you know, for some parents, maybe it's been a while since yes. they've applied for financial aid or gone to college. And, right. you know, for some families, maybe the parents haven't gone to college. And I thought this was interesting. Sally May says eight out of 10 families say financial concerns outweigh academics when choosing a school. That's correct. So this is a pretty big deal. What do you think parents and their kids should look out for, for starters? Sure. Well, I think uh, one of the biggest pieces would uh, be, of course, looking at an institution, um, doing your research, doing your homework. Many times it could take multiple visits to a college. Uh, the way that we like to liken it at MSOE is spend time pretty much shopping, kick the tires, take us for a test run, look under the hood and see what it's all about. So I think um, at many levels you want to look at uh, does the university offer the major of which you're interested in? Um, within that major, how soon do you start that major? So again, as an example, um, being a university where it's a, a direct admit to that program, how soon can you start to really touch and be in those labs, be a part of your program, which could then then shorten the amount of time that you're looking at an institution. And at MSOE, that is the case? That is the case, exactly. Okay. So again, if a student is applying, they apply to our nursing program, for instance, they'll start within that major right away as a freshman, which is great. So in your, your clinical process right away, you're um, exposed to those labs, and so there's a lot of interaction there then, which is great. Very so. nice, because in a lot of at a lot of universities, usually it's not until your junior year. That's correct. You know, until you declare your major, you don't really get to start taking classes. That is um, let's talk about this for a second. You say cheaper is isn't necessarily better and it could cost you more in the end. That's right, exactly. So number of different things. You're looking at the fact that because it is a direct admit program, again in the instance of a, a college like MSOE or many others, um, you're in that program could be a shorter amount of time. So if you're not direct admit, some universities may have it where you are required to um, start out as a pre-professional uh, major. And so just as you said, it could be where you're not starting that major until your junior or senior year really touching into the program. Program. That then can lengthen the time, thus in adding more uh, to your plate financially. Uh, the other piece too, I would say, would be just the types of aid available. So you're looking at many institutions where um, affordability is really the big piece. And so if you're offering uh, scholarships, which would be a form of gift aid, um, again, merit scholarships many times, a lot of universities will offer that for a student. If they're also offering um, different types of grants, so many universities also have their own grant packaging, which helps a lot. So that would be gift aid, which is where you're not paying that, in, that uh, piece back. If it's loans, then of course that would be something, could be where it's subsidized or unsubsidized loans. Typically then that would be the piece that you'd have to repay back uh, many times about six months after you've graduated from okay, your institution. Okay, so important terms to look out for. That's right. All right, well thank you so much for talking to us about thank this. Thank you. Appreciate Great to be your here. time.